All right, guys, fix it, John. Here, this is going to be my electrical hack. Uh, this is to my generator, 30 amp plug. I'm going to strip back these wires, and this is going to the dryer. It's also a 30 amp plug. So I'm going to wire these two together here so I can plug my generator and back feed the uh, or electrical panel. Now, when you back feed, uh, you have to be really, really cautious. You'll need to turn the main breaker off so you don't back feed the uh, incoming power from the uh, transformer and stuff. Uh, power guys comes along. Power guys come along, and they think all oh, the power is off. Nobody has power. Some idiots back feeding the transformer, so you don't want to back feed the transformer. We just want to keep power to our house so we can keep our uh, refrigerator cold and uh, be able to heat something in our uh, on our uh, cooktop. This is not going to power the whole house, but uh, it'll run a couple little AC window units and uh, keep you cool. Uh, last time the power went out, I think that, uh, it was like two weeks before we got, uh, power back. So what we got here is a ground, uh, black's hot, red's hot, green's ground, and, uh, white's neutral. Here we only have a, uh, two hot and a neutral. So what I'm going to do is take these two and put them in to the neutral because they all come back to the same spot in the box anyway. If you had a, uh, a second box, you wouldn't want to do that because you're not, not supposed to hook neutrals and grounds together on another box. So you got to know what you're doing there. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna solder these together. So let's, uh, and don't start a project without a hot cup of coffee. Mm. Mountain grown. Maybe handpicked by Juan Valdez. It's, it's, this is just an emergency situation job. So we'll strip these back and I think I'm gonna solder them. This is just a hack job if you need power right power right away. Alright guys, let's see if we can get this stuff soldered together. Sort of unravel them a little bit so they fit into one another. I'm going to sort of give them a little twist. Looks on there.
Alright, now let's see if we can get it over the hump. There we go. And we'll pull this red one over. And shrink that one down. All right, there's one of them. All right. We're gonna get them melt this one together. All right, that'll offer some protection, but I'm gonna go over it with tape and <sighs> secure it a little more. All right, guys, I got it all taped up. Black, hot, red, hot, uh, white, neutral, and ground. I know it's a hack job, but you're gonna have to get over yourself for a hurricane. We're not trying to be in any NEC compliant here. We just want to have a cold fridge and a cool house. All right, now I'll tape all this up and we'll be done with this. All right, guys, I got the uh, uh, heat shrink wrap on here. Then I taped those individually and then I went over this with uh, three layers of tape to insulate it well and uh, keep everybody safe. I mean, I wouldn't want to use this on a daily basis, but uh, I think it'll be good for uh, if we need it for a week or two. Uh, breakers you need to turn off at the main panel. Uh, the main one you want to turn off is this uh, main breaker so you don't backfeed the uh, transformer. Somebody get electrocuted. Now that 30 amp, you can leave all these 20s on, 15s on, all these 20s on. Now these uh, double pole breakers, they need to go off. Fifty amp, forty amp, all these big double pole breakers, they need to go off because that little thirty amp is not going to run all that. Uh, now it's not going to run all these either, all at one time, but. It will, for instance, uh, run your washing machine. Uh, it'll run your uh, individually. I mean, I wouldn't run the washer and have everything else running in the house, coffee maker, all that stuff. Um, but walk in a room, turn the light on. When you walk out to another room, turn the light off. And, and don't try to overload your generator. Your generators, that little generator is not gonna handle all those at one time but most definitely turn the main breaker off. So remember guys, if this video helped you in any way, give me a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.